Good morning. Hey, all you absolutely extraordinary folks out there. So listen, we live in a pretty offended society, don't we? I mean, every time we turn around, somebody is saying or doing something that's offending us. And you know what? It's justifiably so, right? Because we live a good life, we do a good job, we try our best, and at the end of the day, people are still very rude, crude, and inconsiderate to our feelings, aren't they? Aha! See, this is where we can identify that our own offendedness, offensiveness, whatever, when we get offended, it is actually, okay, now go with me here, it is actually a place within us that is an opportunity to grow. Now, you might sit back and say, but you know what? Everyone else should be nice. They should be kind. They should be more considerate. You know what? They should. But do we have the power to control what other people do? Not at all. Yet we live like we do. We walk around, uh, coming around this corner getting offended, going around that corner getting offended, talking to our boss getting offended, talking to our spouse getting offended, having our kids say something to us getting offended, somebody at the gas station getting offended, somebody cuts us off in traffic, we're getting offended. Every time we turn around, we're finding ourselves offended. And when we come to the time and the place in our life that we look at this as an opportunity for us to grow versus for everybody else to get their crap together, this is when we actually begin to identify the places within us that can become stronger. Okay, a little news flash I'm going to share with you. For the rest of your life, people are going to do and say things that you don't necessarily like. <gasps> Shocker! That is a big news flash, right? Because I think maybe sometimes we find ourselves thinking at some point, this is all going to even out for me and people are going to shift over and start being kind and I'm not going to have to be offended anymore. The offend, the offensiveness, you finding yourself offended is not someone else's job. You growing through that place inside of you is up to you. Primarily, those times and feelings come from a lack of security and a lack of being sure of who we are, our identity, and walking in the confidence of who we are. You see, whenever someone knows who they are, they are quite sure of who they are, whose they are, how they're put together, and who that person is that lives inside of there. It's pretty dang hard to offend that kind of person. So today, I encourage you, when you find yourself offended versus trying to figure out why this person did this or what they said or what they meant or what motivated them to do it, go inside. Dig down deep inside of you and identify why you were offended in the first place. This is one of the first steps to freedom. I love you so much and you're absolutely worth an absolutely extraordinary life. That's right. Rock out your day, buttercup. Word. <laughs>